Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. <laughs> don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I have to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your snobby. We're the Tsar's soldiers. Welcome to Game of the Scottish Accent. I'm Doug Anton. We're back with a new game with the Thermometer. Now, this is a story-driven RPG with morally ambiguous choices. Taking place in the culturally diverse world of early 20th century Warsaw, in this world, Salutos exist. Es esoteric beings that only thermitages can truly perceive and use for their need. Now, this game is from 11-Bit Studios. It comes out today. The studio that made this world of mine and Frostpunk. Now, it's... it's uh, I believe it's a, just a story-driven RPG. I'm looking forward to jumping into it. I'm going to give it a bash, see what we think. If we like it, we will do more. So let's jump in. For years, I've been seeing you in my dreams. And lately, more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? Okay, uh, what's your message? First, play a trick on... Yep. Take this down, please. Arrived. Very beautiful views. People honest at first glance. Sincerely, your barely living cripple. I didn't mean to cause offense. Well, then strike that, please. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Mm. 
Greetings to the sister. So good greetings to the sister. I agree with you, father. Don't add anything. Uh, don't add anything. That will do. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. <laughs> right, so this is a this is a it's like a Baldur's Gate kind of perspective. What is that? Can I interact with it? Oh read. Read. How do you read it? Uh, lost letter. It feels like ages and personal. Everything good and warm and seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to foreign land among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live among people who hate me. I'm losing my health, my mind, and cultivating the land that I fertilize with the blood and flesh of its sons. Delightful. And I can't leave here. I can't stop reminiscing. Death seems to be my only means of escape. Pray for me. Constante. P.S. I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell Anelka that the thought of her brought me solace until the very end. Okay, uh, so you click and right click tells you where to go. Oh, there's something here as well. Let's read this. Dear Janko, please stop with the gentry of snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now, and it's not at all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look wherever you turn. You hear about revolts and peasant guerrillas going at the lords with pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves, have something on the side, some business that will allow us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the first, for the last time, go to the bank in the, tif in the Tiflis and take a loan against half of our assets in the Couscousus. <laughs> Invest in the oil business in Baku. The railroad is already getting there and the world needs kerosene. You need to act. I will send you all the documents and authorization. Don't delay longer. Good things, Lou. Okay, I think that's everything in here, so let's go to the door. Open. Railway station, right. Okay, uh, perception. As a thermitage, you're, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, and words. You can reach your goal faster. Okay. Uh, so that's the perception path. What's that book tucked in your belt for? God willing. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, hello. I thought you. Something there. The Tiflis Herald. Tragic events of August 29th had cast a shadow on the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday's rally, where a reform proposal was set out by Minister Alexandra Bulligan were to be discussed, were brutally interrupted by Cossack troops. By Cossack troops that stormed inside the municipal board building. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room, wreaking havoc. In the turmoil, 60 people were killed and over 100 were injured. People were shot another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. Right, that's the paper. A few more snacks. What's up, buddy? Talk to you. Coachman. Talk. 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 Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Uh, 
Thank you. Okay. Uh, ask if there's a healer. I uh, don't need a healer. Uh, can you wait, can you wait a wee bit longer? A I want to take a look around. Well, I'm not going to leave you now, am I? That's good, Ian. Thank you. Thank you. Victor. Victor! Right, I want to have a wee look, see what's... Uh, can't go that way. I think that's everything, because we can't seem to do anything else. Can we jump over the train track? Nope. Okay, well, that's us. Let's just jump on. Talk to him. All Ready set. to go, mate. I'll say it. Yes. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Prologue. Hoping for the better. Nothing to see around here. Ah, this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. I like it. Straight to the boozer. Right, journal has been up. Do you find the miracle worker in the tavern? Right, what can we do around here? Can't go up there. Perception. Oh, what's that? What's that? A prote protective charm made of strings, sticks and feathers is supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil power. Okay, we've got like a... Like a town square. Kind of here. There's something to read there. So let's have a look at that. Proletari Proletariatis Mzilla. Yes, that is just the easiest word to say in Scott. Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of my mighty arm, hardened by work and struggle with misery, they will get rid of the despised Tsar. May the recent events, so agonizing for many, be a torch that will kindle the flame of just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action and the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. Let us not lose heart. Uh, right, let's talk to you. Who are you? Gentlemen, is this the tavern here? Hey, Putnik. You coming from far? Indeed, I'm... Nice boots. Are they warm? Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. And sooner or later, these might kick their arses. <laughs> don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Is your Znami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Don't Those enemy. don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Did I just get myself in a fight? Yep. Victory conditions. When your enemies lose all the health points, you win the fight. The enemy's health points are shown below. Continue. F. Right. Uh, start the fight. Okay. How do I fight? Oh, okay. Quick attack or planned attack. Uh... So, we'll do a planned attack. Oh, he just gnawed me right in the... Right in the... Right in the bread basket. <laughs> I just winded you, mate. Oh, he just stabbed these. What a prick. Can you believe that actions to you? Perception allows you to anticipate enemies' actions to find out what they're planning. Unfold the actions to you at the top of the screen. Uh, skill speed. Each skill has speeds. Press F to continue. So, uh, precision cut... So he's got to cut me and then cut me. So if I do that, that's gonna this gets a quick hit in first. Let's do that. Right, your beak, mate. Right, and then we're gonna have to do So if we Ah, so if we happen we can kinda get in a get in a hit first and it distracts them from the round, is that right? No. Oh damn, I should have done the big hit. All right, just uh, just knock him out. Combat's quite cool. I like that. 
serves the Ruskius right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Why am I cripple? What did we get? Did we get experience on anything? Ha! Just like that. Right, uh, that's the dude. There's a tar. Whoa, whoa. Hello, doggy! Eh? We can pet the dog! Good boy. Good boy. Into the tavern. Right. Combat's quite cool. I enjoyed that. Uh, we've got talk to Rasputin. And we can read that. Alright, news from Yerevan. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed Governor General of the Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. The highest officials were presented were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives from Ye Yerevan's most eminent families. The Governor General's address to the townspeople expected in the next few days. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Rasputin then. Talk. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Grigory Efimovich Rasputin. Looks like a Rasputin. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and and you expected a thinking simpleton, an illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard, especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe? I want to see for myself. If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Russia. Uh, uh, I'm from brief. Warsaw. So, from Russia. Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one? Or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Okay. Uh... Except... What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. Okay. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I would use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Smell it. Okay. Uh, a warm room food. A seal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the towel from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rap, pure purple passion, and graphic fierceness. The touch of the beads burns while also attracts. Draw a conclusion. Uh, Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his or door. Okay. Uh... Okay. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Okay. So I need to find something that's his. Okay, observations. Broken bottle. Observations are information that you may acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help in different situations. 
Comitash possesses perception, which allows him to read other people's emotions, actions, words. Okay, you must de develop the heart, deed, word, and mind dimensions sufficient. Okay, uh, of some items you will find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms, unknown, familiar, certain. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception Let's on Let's take item. a look around. Okay, we hit that. Okay, what's that here? I Examine. failed. Uh, dirty ball that someone's eating for. Dimension Force 2. Okay, that's too low. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within it? Prayer book. It vibrates now some more of the light, touch of silk. Okay, thorns and peril. Draw a conclusion. Rasputin's passions. Passion, sorry. Who would have thought that this beast had such passion? Okay, so we found a book of them. What else have we got them? Examine this. That takes mind. A hair claw. What else have we got? We just go back to them. Tell Rasputin what you found. Okay, I found. What was it? The deed. Deed one. Okay. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? Ask I can't again. help but ask you about that young lady from Petersburg. Careful, I'm starting to like you. But not enough to tell you about Petersburg. How do you think I might help you? <sighs> a few years ago I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that... Ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. Uh, yeah, we'll I've got pay money, on. if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me... Where... where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. Okay, find the way. I need to get out of here. Yes, I do. Reminds me of the bloody... Remember the, the, the library and what dragon What is the sound? <laughs> oh, shackle? And the fade. Oh, that was awful. Hey, buddy. What's that? Nothing. Oh, God. This looks ominous. You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? 
flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. Must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? What the hell was that? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Raspion. Where's Rasputin? <laughs> In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I wanted to sweep. So you said, I'm just you said that out. already. <sighs> it's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was nope. praying. I wanted to sweep. <laughs> okay. Obtained a thermometer, a thermometer, a thermometer point. Nice. Right, find Rasputin at the cemetery. Oh, what's O? O is thermaturgy points on the Grimoire's cover that are available with thermaturgy points. You can use them to spin the tree, purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and hunt salators to enable further development. So we have heart. What is that? Manipulation. This upgrade allows you to manipulate the dimensions heart. So we looks like we have heart. Yeah, we have one heart. We need mind word. I'm um, hmm. did. What do these do? What does this do? Can we take this? How do we? How do we learn? How do we learn? Cost one. Cost one. Oh. Action, reaction, and this is adrenaline. Adrenaline. Right. So we can do that. Cost one. Gamble. Gives a six per chance of dealing double damage. Yes, please. We want that all freaking day long. Uh, restores the focus. Reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in a suffering state. Gives a certain chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. We want you as well. Okay, so what do these do though? These must be different dudes. So I'm quite happy with them. We've got two heart and a word. Available upgrades are here, so F. Right, so. Fortune Gamble. So quick attacks and planned attacks, damage over time, influences. So we have Gamble. Can we put Gamble in? A strong attack is a concussion. We have a planned attack, a quick attack, and a strong attack. We go Fortune, gives a 50 per chance. 50% chance. So can we... Oh, what did we just do? Fuck attack. Land attack. Oh, you can add it. Oh. So if you click on... Say you click on a planned attack and add that in. The planned attack. 50% chance of interrupting the action. Okay. What we need to do is put fortune in here and gamble in here. Because this is going to do more damage. 
So that one shot a lot. And this is 50% chance of interrupting, which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's go to the cemetery. Into the village. Multiple objectives. Quests of multiple objectives. Freely switch for the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objectives will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced thermometer. No worries, the remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Okay, so find the person with the flaw. So what to find the person with the flaw? So we've got two. What do we have here? Oh there it is. Examine. They're a gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. That's not yours, don't touch! All these newcomers causing more problems. And we found that. Okay, uh... They dropped apple. A bruised crimson apple. Vincent was trembling. Dropped a fruit basket and left his orphan behind. Vincent has... Uh, Venza has left a distinct taste on the fruit. Consists of a heart fluttering and a panic. Face Venza. Okay. So now. Where did she go? Blessed be our Lord. Can we go this way? Thermaturgy oh. never fails me. What was that? A dead goose. Someone or something strangled this goose. Okay, uh, we can talk here. Let's see Over what killed the goose. my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? Okay, draw a conclusion. Conflicted neighbours. The dead goose lies between the calling. The wise woman is to settle the dispute. She'd better do it quickly. It will come to fisticuffs in a moment. Draw a conclusion. So, uh, neighbors, it seems that neighbours quarrelled. Continue. Right, so, make an attorney. Support the wise woman's verdict. I don't, I have heart, so I'm going to do that. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Persuade, I like it. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Okay. The wise woman cottage. Oh, what stuff to read here? Shall we peek? Come on. Unfinished letter. Dear, my dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to the Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid, backward? You repeat after that rectors of yours. Suzuki is a goodie. The Georgian is the language of dogs, and you want to write me only in Russian? Child! Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt of your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You can't. The, the, the reading's quite good. Diary of an oblate priest. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world, preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends and devils cursed by God are real, and they are everywhere. In distant 
Sirmia, people wh whispered the name Bukavak. Bukavak. A cruel beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbours. A fairy tale, you say. Well, I have seen Bukavak. Here, in Hyatiagorsk. Hyatiagorsk. Sure, I heard the rattle of my, his chains and felt his fangs digging into my neck and tugging at every fibre of my soul, and I felt the fury that his wrath brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape, the taste of blood in my mouth, that no prayer can erase, may the holy walls of the oblate church stop this beast. Blessed virgin, keep me safe. Okay. Talk to you. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. <laughs> okay, uh... Something continues to elude you. Keep such accuser of taking advantage of superstitious villain. I'm going to come back. I want to discover the rest of this stuff. I'll come well, back. Then I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Right, we need to go search for more conversations. More things. Let's have a wee right click and see if there's nothing. Nope. Right, so we need to we need to check about the village. So there is examine that. That's assault on the doorstep. Assault on the doorstep protects from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. Chickens. There's a dead goose. I'm sorry, Bogdan. Okay. We'll go up here. Oh. Am I here. sensing? What is it? A wooden box. A hand-carved and elaborate painted wooden box. Mark of love. Sweet of kisses and the vest not and... Okay. Anything else going on? Oh, there's a thing here. Knock on the door. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Something here. That is a damaged act shaft. The trace it bears does not belong to Vesna. And what's this? Dish shards. Broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. Draw conclusion. Continue. Okay, I think I've found enough. Or something, anyway. Okay. Interesting. So we can knock on the door. And do that. But guys, I'm going to call it here. I hope you're enjoying this. This is a very interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. There's a map I've not checked as well. There's the map. Sins of the past. Find the person with the flaw that the wild salator is seeking. I like how that just uh, highlights it all. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hug your wish. Scalp that like button. Uh, it's the only way I'll know that you want to see more. If you want to see more, like it. And like it a lot. <laughs> and we'll see you next time I'm, I'm going to do one more episode but for there we'll just take it likes as we come if, if you're liking it I'll keep playing so hit the comments hit the likes and I'll see you then